Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, problem number 16. Hello, dear Rasnik Walker. Uh, let me read out the question. Uh, the box like uh, Gaussian surface shown in figure encloses, so this is the diagram, uh, encloses a net charge of plus 24 epsilon 0 coulomb. So charge enclosed is given to us. Q enclosed by this cube uh, is equal to 20, plus 24 epsilon 0, plus 24 epsilon 0 coulombs and lies in an electric field given by E is equal to, so electric field is also there. E is equal to 10 plus 2x i minus 3j plus b z k newton per coulomb. So charge enclosed is here and then field is given by this equation, okay, electric field. This must be the net electric field given by this equation. With x and z in meters and b is a constant. B is a constant. The bottom face is in the y x z plane. The top face is <coughs> is in the horizontal uh, plane passing through y2 equal to 1 meter. Uh, for x1 equal to 1 meter, x2 equal to 4 meter, z1 equal to 1 meter, z2 equal to 3 meters. What is B? So we had to find out this constant B. What is the value of this constant B? Uh, the specifications are given x1 is equal to 1 meter, x2 is equal to 4 meters, z1 here is 1 meter, z2 is uh, 3 meters and y2 is equal to 1 meter. Uh, it is clear that this side of this cuboid is 4 minus 1 is 3 meters. Okay. Then the other side This side here is z2 minus z1, which is 3 minus 1 is 2 meters. And then the height is 1 meter. Height is 1 meter. So with these lengths, we can find out areas, basically. With these lengths, we can find out areas. Now, again, look at this equation for the field. Uh, I can rewrite this as, I can divide it this way. This part is uniform. We have also done it in some previous sections, previous sessions. This part is also uniform. So these two parts will not contribute anything to the flux. Okay, basically uh, uh, due to these uniform parts, inward flux and outward flux through these, this uh, closer structure will be same. So net flux will be zero. Then we have uh, this part here, it depends on x. Okay, it depends on x. So it is different, it is non-uniform. Non-uniform, number one. Number two, it is in x direction. It is in x direction, that would mean it will, uh, it will contribute to flux through the faces which are perpendicular to x-axis. Okay, what are perpendicular to x-axis? The side is lying in yz plane or parallel to yz plane. That is the right face and the left face. So this component of the field will contribute to flux through the right face of this cuboid and through the left face of this cuboid. So it will contribute to flux through right face and left face. And we already know for right face, x is equal to x2 is 4 meters. So we know the field then there at that uh, position. Then uh, for the left face, we again know x1 is equal to 1 meter. So we also know the field at that position, uh, position of that plane. Then uh, the other part, this part here, is again non-uniform. So this will contribute something to the net flux. This part is along z-axis, parallel to z-axis. So that would mean it will contribute to flux through the surfaces which are perpendicular to z-axis. Okay, perpendicular z-axis is outward. So perpendicular to z-axis is this front face and the back face. Okay, front face and the back face. And for the front face, we know z is equal to z2 is 3 meters. And for the back face, z is equal to 1 meter. z1 is equal to 1 meter. So this component of the field will contribute to flux through the front face and through the back face. So it contributes to flux through front face and back face. 
see this field is in z direction okay z direction so it is coming outward if it comes outward the field lines will be parallel to this face parallel to top parallel to the right face parallel to the top face parallel to the bottom face parallel to the left face so if field lines are parallel to these four faces they will not contribute anything to the flux okay so flux will be only through this front face and through the left uh, through the back face and we already know the z values that means we will know the field in terms of b so uh, this part will contribute to flux through right face and the left face and this component will contribute to flux through front face and the uh, back face now let's uh, move on let's consider the areas area directions now uh, the front face direction of area for the front face will be rightward so it is in uh, positive x direction okay and the value will be uh, 2 into 1 this height is 1 and this length is 2 2 into 1 is 2 so 2 meters square is this in meters yeah this is in meters so meter square i unit vector it is in the positive direction of x axis so i unit vector or you may write x unit vector whatever you like then the left face then the left face here direction will be leftward remember for a closer surface direction of area is right uh, outward normal uh, uh, along the outward normal so this is for the left face again the area is same too but direction is negative x it is in uh, leftward direction negative x then uh, we need direction for the front face and the back face for the front face area is 3 into 1 is 3 okay 3 into 1 is 3 so front face direction of area will be this way it is in positive direction of z axis 3 uh, meter square into k and for the back face magnitude of the area will be same 3 but in the negative z direction okay negative z direction is that fine now i'll consider this part first this component of the field first 2x so this must not be visible 2xi this is the part of the component component of the field we are considering yeah 2xi this part this part contributes to flux through right face and the left face right face flux is equal to e dot a e dot a for the right face x is equal x2 is equal 4 okay so instead of x we'll write down 4 so e is 2 into 4 then area area is 2 it has to both of them are in positive direction of x axis so plus sign and plus sign so this is 2 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 newton meter square per coulomb this is flux through the right face okay this is flux through the right face then uh, same component same component contributes to flux through the left face left face here for the left face for the left face x is equal to x1 which is 1 meter so instead of x we'll write down 1 meter so 2 into 1 into area area is minus 2 it is in the negative direction so minus 2 2 into 2 is 4 minus 4 newton meter square per coulomb this is flux through the left face flux through the right face flux through the left face then we'll consider another component bz okay bz this is the one which contributes to flux so let's consider that part uh, b bz k unit vector now this component we already know contributes to flux through the front face and through the back face we already talked about that through the front face and through the back face okay front face flux for the front face is equal e dot a e is for the front face z is equal 3 z is equal 3 so b into th 3 b into 3 into area area is uh, outward positive 3 so 3 into 3 is 9 9 b newton meter square per coulomb and then uh, through the back face 
फ्लक्स इज इक्वल टू ई जी वैल्यू फॉर द बैक फेस इज इक्वल वन मीटर ओके वन मीटर सो बी इंटू वन बी इंटू वन इंटू एरिया एरिया इज माइनस थ्री इट इज इन द नेगेटिव डायरेक्शन माइनस थ्री सो दिस इज माइनस थ्री बी न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर कोलम सो वी हैव फ्लक्स थ्रू ऑल द फेसेस ऑल द पॉसिबल फेसेस 16 माइनस फोर नाइन बी माइनस थ्री बी सो लेट्स फाइंड लेट्स एड दम एंड फाइंड आउट द टोटल फ्लक्स सो टोटल फ्लक्स टोटल फ्लक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन माइनस फोर इज ट्वेल्व प्लस नाइन बी माइनस थ्री बी इज सिक्स बी सो सिक्स बी दिस इज द टोटल फ्लक्स बट टोटल फ्लक्स वी ऑलरेडी नो फ्रॉम फॉर अ क्लोज सरफेस इज क्यू एंड क्लोज डिवाइडेड बाई एप्सलॉन जीरो फ्रॉम गाउस लॉ वी ऑलरेडी नो दिस and we are given q enclosed we are given q enclosed is plus 24 epsilon 0 okay plus 24 epsilon 0 so this implies 12 plus 6b is equal to 24 plus 24 epsilon 0 epsilon 0 will cancel out so this implies 6b is equal to 24 minus 12 is just 12 so this implies b is equal to 12 divided by 6 is 2 numerical value for b is 2 okay numerical value for b is 2 let's also find out the magnet uh, this unit of this b okay unit of b now uh, see this is the component of the electric field and z is in meters okay z is in meters i'll do that here the component of the field we are talking about is b z and z is in meters z is in meters and uh, 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 unit of the field we already know is newton per coulomb take this meter down so b unit of b is equal to newton per coulomb per meter so it is 2 newton per coulomb per meter so mag uh, uh, constant b is equal to 2 newton per coulomb per meter Is that fine? That'll do for this session.